Hey everyone, thank you again for tuning in for another edition of TK On Demand Instagram Live. So if you've noticed, a few of our lives in the past have been um, about fall trends. Well, today we're going to be talking with Grace. She is a fashion stylist in Orlando, Florida, who's going to give us all the trends about um, the different colors for the season, the different patterns, the different texture, just different things that um, are trending for this fall season. I know we're at home, so it's like, why should I be worried about the fall trends? We can still be cute in your house. Or if you're in certain states that are opened up partially, you still want to look cute when you go out, especially when you haven't seen some friends in a while, so you want to update your look. So stay tuned. She'll be joining us soon. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask during the segment. Um, she'll be more than happy to ask if you maybe a certain material still in style or maybe even jewelry, just anything about fashion, feel free to ask. So I'm just going to give her a few moments to join on. But for now, hey, guys, thank you for tuning in. And she has a great setup for us um, with a bunch of different trends she has to show us. She has like a great um, mood board and everything. So it should be really good. Oh, hey, hey. Thank you for tuning in. We're just going to wait for Grace for a few more seconds. Oh, here she is. All right, and give her a wave and let's add her on. All right, here she is. Oh. All right, it's connecting now. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask her. Hey. Hi. <laughs> thank you again for tuning. I love your look already. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So everyone, thank you again for tuning in. We have the lovely Grace here who's going to give us the fall fashion trends on how to look cute for the season, be trendy, and just to kill it. So Grace, yeah. take it away. Like, what? how should I be dressing for this fall season? Should I be wearing bright colors? Should I be wearing darker colors? Tell so, us. As you can see, I'm all dark today. Yes. Um, even though I'm normally just like in black, white, and nude, like that's like my thing. But <laughs> that's why I love fall because that's basically like the color palette of fall. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I get to wear in my closet. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, Andrea. Um, so basically, leather is a big one in. Okay. Kind of like you can see. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Yeah, that's cute. Um. So it's like leather jackets, leather pants, like yeah. any leather. I even have like this leather dress to show you. Like if you're from Florida, you know, you're like, I'm not going to wear leather. It's still yeah. 90 degrees over here. <laughs> so like something like this. Oh, that's super cute. This is from Zara. Um, It's just like a dress. All leather is like really a look this like season, mm -hmm. like leather pants with a leather jacket with like a leather top, everything like that. Um, I was trying to get the mood board on, but... I don't know why it's not showing me anymore how to do it. No, you're fine. Take your time. Um, I, I know you worked on my mood board too, so I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll send it to you. I don't know if it's because like, you're in control. Um, Maybe. Oops. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. No. <laughs> it was working. Ah, okay. But um, just like that's another thing. I'll try to find it like a little later. And then yeah, like basics awesome. for sure. Like mm -hmm. something I've learned is like if you don't have basics in your closet, like you're not gonna you're not gonna make an outfit pretty much. The basics are like just plain tees, like anything mm -hmm. that's plain neutral, like not neutral, but yeah. just solid. So kind of okay. like this, like a bodysuit, okay. like just kind of like how I have like a layer piece on, like yeah. for fall. You know, every year we're always gonna have uh, plaids, you know, mm -hmm. our plaid jackets and stuff. So if you have like a bunch of basics like this, um, you can just change up like the leather pieces or not leather, the <laughs> layering pieces. And then that can like change your look completely. So having things like that, cause like a jean jacket or like a blazer. So if you just like switch it up and put like a black blazer oh, or a colored blazer, okay. um, that's good. And back to like the like, colors that you were asking me, like people right now are like loving to wear like colored blazers, um, leather yeah. too, like colored leather, and then making like a monochromatic look with it. Okay. So, um, if you don't, if you don't know, yeah, I'm like, can you explain that? <laughs> I was like, I think I know. I'm like, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like wearing one color. Um, okay. So kind of like you know when we feel good when you're like wearing all black, mm -hmm. just like incorporating that into like all the colors. So like wearing like all green or all pink. So do um, they all have to be the exact same tone typically for the season or can it be like different shades of green, I guess, or any color that's chosen? Yeah, you want to like if you want to play with like the tones a little bit, you kind of want to just stick to like two tones. Mm -hmm. Like maybe like the shirt will be like a little bit of a different pink than like the rest of your outfit. But okay. you kind of want to stay like with the same 
like black or yeah, pink. Yeah, so you're not too out there, like yeah. Because <laughs> then you just look like super patchy, and then it doesn't flow. But mm -hmm. um, wearing like one color just makes you look clean. Just like how when you feel good wearing like all black, it's just yes. kind of the same concept, but just like with color. So that's okay. another one. And then um, like feeling comfy still, like. Um, yes because you know like, we're working from home we, you know we're still at home of, yeah of Florida. Florida we're kind of a little wild out here but yeah. like other places like New York I have a few friends up there um mm -hmm. who don't really leave their house at all so like what's some looks mm -hmm. you would say like still be comfy but still trendy at the same time um matching pieces for sure mm -hmm. like um it just gives like a cleaner look so like loungewear like I've seen um on Nasty Gal they'll have like um, a crop top with like matching pants that are just comfortable or you can do like fun sweatpants and then just like a bodysuit and then since it's getting cold you can do like a long sleeve bodysuit with like just sweats and then because I don't know like here not because since Florida's well and out you know everyone's going out yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I remember like going like downtown like if you didn't wear high heels it's like what are you doing but now like people are wearing sweatpants and sneakers to the club so like yeah I've been seeing a lot of people like in sneakers now I'm like I don't mind it because they're comfy <laughs> I prefer that over heels any day if for chosen. real <laughs> I'm like I did my heels in like college I'm kind of over it now <laughs> but <laughs> like, I'll take the sneakers so also, yeah going into sneakers what sneakers I say like I guess is any sneaker um trending for this fall or like um, for the fall really season like or it's kind of like whatever you want you put on a sneaker kind of good thing um dunks for sure like are like nike dunks those are like trending a lot mm -hmm. um yeezys always um adidas like are just a classic like another basic to have like um mm -hmm. in your closet just like the basic adidas and then really just really i want to say nike and adidas and then okay, some new like new balance is starting to make its way in so don't reject New Balance. Yeah, like, I've always, I feel like I've always had the mindset of like seeing it in like on an older crowd. I'm like, okay, I yeah. probably won't wear that. Like, that's not for me. But like, I'm slowly seeing people starting to rock it. I'm like, okay, maybe yeah. I could. But also, I, I don't know if I have it in me to rock it really good. Yeah. Um, how about Crocs? Do you think oh. Crocs are trending? Or like, is that kind of a hit or miss? Yeah. Well, everyone that I know loves Crocs and I'm a Bad Bunny fan. So he came out with Crocs and I was, I was definitely waiting for those Crocs and I didn't get them. But, and then now Justin Bieber's coming out with Crocs with his brand Drew. Oh, okay. They just announced that. So I think since a lot of celebrities are trying to make like collaborations with Crocs, mm -hmm. they're going to come in. But I'm personally not a fan of like the platform Crocs. Like, no. <laughs> oh yeah. I've seen those. Yeah. Those, I don't know. I'm kind of yeah. with you on that one. It's like uh, maybe comfy, but a little pushing the comfy cute yeah look. <laughs> that's a little too much but like I like Tevas a lot like those are really comfortable mm -hmm. and like you can like especially if you like wearing like biker shorts and just like having yes. that sporty look like having Tevas like the I like the white ones I have the white ones can you describe what that is honestly like I'm really basic with my fashion probably um, so even Tevas I don't know if myself or any of the viewers know what Tevas <laughs> are <laughs> I know I should have grabbed my pair but they're like they kind of look like hiking shoes okay like oh, they're like strappy okay, yes. Okay. and stuff um i like salon she has wear uh, like she wears them too like with like nice dresses and then she'll like have those on mm -hmm. and they look cute like i think if you're going somewhere like europe or something those are good shoes to wear like if you're gonna be walking a lot um so those are cool but they're like hiking shoes and like you can wear them like to the beach and stuff because they're like rubbery like kind of like okay. cross material i think now i'm getting a better visual of it yeah, yeah. Those, oh one of our viewers i love tivas yep well, maybe I'll look They're into so those comfy. Too, some comfy shoes. Yeah. Um, and then you also cute. mentioned biker shorts. I know I'm actually wearing a pair right now because <laughs> they are go-to. You just put on, put on your biker yeah. shorts, any kind of t-shirt, and you're good to go. So, like, we say a certain brand. Like, what brand do you typically like in your biker shorts, or is it just any brand or um, color? I personally or... just wear, like, any brand. <laughs> I like the black ones. I like just going with black. But, like, um, kind of, like, going into, like, the, like, jumpsuit look with it. I don't know if you've seen, like, the ones no. you look like. Um, Naked Wardrobe, I like their stuff a lot. Because theirs is, like, very plain and stuff. And they have, like, the whole, like, jumpsuit or bodysuit that, like, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I have I'm yeah. the visual now. As you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, they just came out with, like, one that's, like, it looks like a t-shirt and then, like, with biker shorts. And then they okay. have one that's biker shorts and, like, just a crop top. Hmm. Um, and they have, like, all, like, the color tones. Like, they have blue, orange, hot pink. I like stuff like that. 
Um, but I'm a little picky because sometimes they're see through. So I'm like, oh, oh yeah, you don't want that. So <laughs> depending on location, it's like eh, I'm yeah. <laughs> but I love wearing them with just like a big t shirt, like. And then That's just like having comfy. sunglasses on, and I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like the perfect hangover. It look. is. I I agree. <laughs> so, what other trends can you tell us about for this fall season? Um. So shoes. Oh, I love shoes. Boots for sure. Like we have like this one. Oh, those like are, the soft. I love that heel. Yeah, and then the heels are different, so they're like kind of like a half a heel. Um, and they're actually super comfortable. Like these are from Aldo and they have a lot of heels um, with this type of heel. Yeah, those like, are super trendy. I've actually seen them recently and I was like, oh, those are so cute. But then it's like, can I like, the way this heel looks is a little like nerve wracking. Like, can I actually yeah. walk in them? <laughs> no, they're actually really comfortable to walk in. Like I thought I was going to bring it because I'm always falling. Like I always <laughs> fall. Like, like she's but holding. Like they cute. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Like she, um, you know, they sell like those little pads at the bottom. I was like checking out and she's like, oh, do you want to buy this? Like, it's like, so you don't fall. And I was like, yes, I need that. Please, <laughs> that's I need for me. <laughs> I'm always falling. Um, and then like the, so instead of like thigh highs, there's like the calf ones that are like going around a lot. So they like stop like kind of at your knee, but they're like just right at your calf. And those are so cute. I love them. They have like every color they have like pink um h&m even had a pair that was like all gold and glitter oh They're, wow love that yeah they were fun so i've seen them on like i want to say pretty little thing nasty gal mm -hmm. like stuff like that forever 21 um fashion nova 2 has a pair like a brown <laughs> pair those i think are gonna like take over thigh highs like yeah, because I know last, last year was, like, thigh highs, thigh highs. Like, I was like, yes, I was going crazy yeah. thigh highs last year. So now I kind of probably have to retire those for a little bit. And yeah. right now the calf ones. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, like, they look very similar to, like, thigh highs, but just, like, mm -hmm. a little shorter. Okay. But I think so those we'll are going to be the new ones. <laughs> That's cute, cute. So where, I guess what other trends are there? I guess, like, certain – we talked about colors. We talked about how leather is the hit. I actually got a leather mm -hmm. skirt recently, and I have no idea how to wear it. I wish I had it with me. But it's not in this vicinity right now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we talked about the leather. We talked about colors. We talked about shoes. Are there any other shoes that may be, like, trending right now that you can think of or jewelry? Jewelry, like the chains. Like mm -hmm. the chain necklaces are something for sure. Um, a lot of hair accessories, so like clips are yeah. like a thing. Um, I have a scrunchie to show. Oh, that, what is the one on your head? Oh, love, love, I that. love. Makes sense because I love that. <laughs> and then big scrunchies, like the really big ones. Mm -hmm. These are it. And like if you look at this one, like the fabric is like different, so it's oh, like wow. sheer and then like a silky it fabric. Over. Yeah. So things like this. and this color. Here. How this I know color when I went to. It a few stores I've seen like a full rack of them now I remember when I was younger I had like so many and I got you know you agree like oh that's old I don't want that anymore yeah. but like I'm like man I wish I kept all those because yeah. now I'm like buying all these million pairs <laughs> for real yeah that and then um like belts like I don't know if you've seen the belts that they have like the hanging like little purses on them kind yes. of like those yeah. even like Target has them like Target has been my favorite place for like trendy stuff. Like they have no, I yeah. Target always has a go to thing sometimes, even when you're like a quick, like, oh wow, that's a cute dress. Let me yeah. nag that really quick for a cute look. Target, people sleep on Target, but sometimes you got Target, as I like to say. Actually. Yeah, Target for real. <laughs> but yeah, those belts for sure. And like if you wear them like with like the body, like not the bodysuit, the biker shorts and like a shirt, you know, or like the yeah. jumpsuit that I was saying, you can just put that on and like go to Disney World or something and like, <laughs> It'd be cute, you look comfy, cute not comfy. too heavy either because yeah. a purse on your hip is a lot easier than like having to carry a shoulder or a yeah. backpack like you know especially if you're like talking theme park if you go on a ride they're like you know you gotta put your bag away if it's on your hip it's like hey yeah it's and not I as think... big as a fanny pack either so yeah I think it's like replacing the fanny pack like something new because everyone loves like you know being comfortable yes. but I think that's like a new like thing for a new thing. <laughs> someone said and beads i think they were maybe referencing to jewelry would you say beads are in oh, style maybe for hair yeah accessories? yeah i even wear beads on my <laughs> oh well <laughs> yeah beads for sure i love wearing beads and i know a lot of guys like wearing like stuff like this too mm -hmm. like they like wearing beads 
I mean, I like wearing beaches for energy and stuff because yeah. I'm all into like crystals and stuff, but beads for sure. And like in your hair too. Okay. So I guess what other hair trends? Like I know I've seen like the silk like headbands. I've seen that. That's becoming a thing too lately. Yeah. With like the little pearls too. Yes. Um, yes. That's been a thing. Um, and I've seen like so many like there's, oh, thank you. Um, I've seen so many with like different like like crystals or just like mm -hmm. so many designs. Like in Puerto Rico, there's a lot of like small businesses that are like selling them and they, they just come up with the most different things like I've seen some with like seashells on the headband oh. and like everything they're, they're really creative but I'm sure eventually it's gonna get crazy over here too I'm like yeah. oh my seashell headband <laughs> um what do you think about the hairpins I know some people like they'll do the center part and they have like a bunch of like different colored hairpins going down mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if that's what it's called actually do you know what I'm talking about it's like the ones, yeah, that, like, the ones that are like yes yes yeah I think they're fun I've seen like uh like Chloe when she just did like a video and she had, like, a braid, and then all around the back of the braid was just, like, those pins. Like, just oh. a bunch of pins. I, I thought that was a little too much for my personal style. Yeah. But I was like, okay, that's amazing. I guess amazing for that, like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I was like, maybe it's because of her hair, like, the extensions or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, that could be it. Trying to but, disguise it. But I like the one when they do, like, two, you know, mm -hmm. like, the two pins. Like, I like stuff like that more. But I think they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, I definitely – I feel like I've – but do you think – it's more of a summer trend, maybe, or a fall trend? Mm, I think a little more summer, but okay. I think depending on how you wear it, you can, like, bring it into fall. Like, if you do more, like, the colors of fall, I think you can bring it into fall. But <laughs> if you're doing, like, the brighter colors, it might be, like, a little too summer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to, like, completely redo my wardrobe again for the fall because I love color. I'm, like, <laughs> orange, yellow, pink, 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 like, just – yeah go crazy the color so definitely need to look into like the more neutral colors like you said and what stores do you typically shop in or have been like the hot shops for the fall season you because i know you mentioned um nasty galas one what are some mm -hmm. other stores our viewers could check out to get their look updated for the season zara is my favorite store ever <laughs> that's like my <laughs> favorite store um even like the big puffer jackets mm -hmm. like those like super comfy jackets like i got one from there that was it's literally like a comforter, but um, <laughs> it was only like $20. Like they have like oh, some okay. affordable things, especially right now that like, um, what is, oh, I thought someone said, what about fall hair? Ginger oh, like colors. I guess fall hair trends or like hair colors that you think oh. are trending for the season? Oh, H&M is one too, yeah. Um, the, oh, I love like, you know, the ponytail where like, they like wrap the hair around, mm -hmm. you know, like those ponytails. Yeah. Sure. Ones, and then like yeah. just one two or like the two little pigtails and like wrap it oh yeah I've seen those. <laughs> um but yeah h&m for sure for like affordable like their clearance section like do not sleep on mm -hmm. it like they always yeah, have fun gotta, stuff. You take your time and just and yeah just, like, like this is from h&m and this was like 22 dollars in the clearance wow yeah so and then i think They're like fine. the blazer i got too that I was showing you like because you always need a basic blazer my dog is like on it yeah um, I agree. <laughs> this was I want to say like 20 bucks too like and it's this can be like transferred into both seasons so mm -hmm. do not sleep on H&M um typically shopping at Zara it's a hit or miss for me um yeah I feel like it's a hit or miss too but I don't I like basics so it's like that's what I always go for at Zara like this bodysuit <laughs> is from Zara and I have this in like blue green like every color so yeah i like going sense, like though. searching like for basics at zara um i don't buy like pants there just because i don't know i like fashion nova for that just because you know they fit stretchy. better yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, mean, I get yeah. you if it's funny you're like okay i guess i gotta return these again because they don't yeah. fit the way i want yeah <laughs> yeah but honestly i like going for like basics for zara and then um I don't like Forever 21 anymore that much because it's just mm -hmm. like, but if you're looking for color, I think it's a good sort of fine color, like okay. neons and stuff like that. And also like rainbow and stuff. Like sometimes, Ooh. you know, going to like the, I like to call them my the ghetto store. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> you'll find some good basics in there. Yeah. Or just anything, honestly, for good yeah. prices. So it doesn't hurt. So <laughs> I like going like in there too, to like find like affordable, um, but Nasty Gal is, like, my favorite. Misguided. Um, oh, misguided. Pretty Little Thing. 
Mm -hmm. revolve and then small boutiques is really like how I find like unique things really Mm -hmm. because and and you support small businesses too so I like to like find like um people who like have their own boutiques and stuff and just find it like I think they have a lot of originality when you look for things so um yeah those are a few (laughs) okay and then I know you also are your stylist as well so how has I guess the stylist season been for you during the pandemic like How's that been for you too? Um, so before actually I was an assistant buyer. So I was okay. um at a store and then, you know, COVID played its course and so I'm just no longer there. Who, just for abuse who aren't in the fashion industry, what does an uh-huh. assistant buyer typically do? So um I help the buyer which she or he buys what you buy in the store. So we know what okay. you're like so basically on our reports we run reports and stuff and we're the ones that communicate with like the vendors and we're like okay we know our customer likes this and this and this so we're okay, gonna buy so you're like pre-shopping for... for us already before we yeah think about it. okay <laughs> yeah so i know what you want before you know what, what you want to <laughs> buy so we basically do that and then um yeah then you go buy it um but our company went bankrupt so i'm no longer there and then that's kind of like when I was like, okay, I kind of want to go into like styling. I like yeah. would do it in college and stuff a little bit like with our friends and just like in clubs. But mm-hmm. I was like, I always thought I wanted to be a buyer. And then yeah. um, I was like, mm, maybe I want to try something new. So I enrolled at FIT. And then I started getting like a certification. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, now I'm just here. So I haven't really done much. I've just been working on like portfolio stuff. Okay. But yeah, hopefully it. Well, if anyone is interested, yeah. go on her page, check out what she has yep. to offer. Some great looks. Um, because I look, I looked, I was like, oh, this is really cute. I know, again, it needs to update my <laughs> wardrobe, so I may be hitting you up soon. I got I you. Have an event coming up. I don't, I don't know where yeah. I'll be going, but I will find something. <laughs> yeah, for fun. Sure. Honestly, when I'm bored, I'm like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> no, like, I can't buy nothing. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. One of our viewers said, "What are the must-haves for the fall?" So if you could name three things, what are those three things you think everyone should have for the fall season? Mm, definitely like this leather jacket. I really love okay. this like different look. I feel like it's very 90s. So I like mm-hmm. that. Um, the calf boots. I think that is okay. um, a big one. Mm, and I think like sweatpants, like a different pair of sweatpants, like something unique, like a pair of sweatpants that are unique because we want to be comfortable. So yeah yes, I think those are my top three <laughs> okay does anyone else have any questions any more viewers about the trends for the fall about your experience in the fashion industry anything feel free to ask now is there anything else you want to share with us or the viewers about the fall season um being confident in the clothes you wear anything that comes to your mind mm-hmm. yeah definitely like when like to feel your best I think understanding like what your body type is is like a big Mm -hmm. takeaway that I've learned um finding people who look like you is like like you know influencers or your favorite celebrity finding someone who looks at you is going to help you so much to find like what your style is and what you like because if I look at what Hailey Bieber's wearing like I'm not going to look good in that (laughs) you know (laughs) same (laughs) so finding someone that like looks like you is like a big thing and like finding what your style is and like what you can find and do because Sometimes it's, like, right there, and you're, like, oh, my God, if I go to the store, I can just, like, you see it at the store, but you're, like, I don't know how to wear it, but then you see, like, I don't know, some celebrity wear, and you're, like, oh, my God, I can make this work. So that, and um, as long as you feel good, you look good. Like, that's that's my motto. I questions. Um, I love layering, but it's so hot. Do you have any ideas of how to follow it up in Florida? So I guess, I know you did mention layering. So how much layering should you do in Florida? And, like, should you not maybe, like, three layers, four, five, like, maybe one? I don't know. One. (laughs) One. (laughs) Unless you like to sweat, then you can do more. (laughs) Yeah. I would say one. I think colors, like, um, like, is really going to be, like, your biggest takeaway with, like, fall. Um, I mean, once, once it's, like, December and stuff, it starts getting colder, so you can, like, do it in Florida like you know January we're gonna like get a little colder but other than that I think you should stick to like the colors like (laughs) bodysuits um wearing jeans and if you want to do like the leather like sometimes there's like the like you know the faux leather or like the fake leather where it looks like leather on the outside but inside it's not like it's really cooling 
And like sometimes if you just pull the fabric, you can see if it's like a little kind of like see through. That's how you can tell like, okay, like this could be like not as hot. If I you will not wear be something. burning up in this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's like a one way like to do it because it's too hot. It's It was 92 degrees today. Like, yeah, don't wear too many layers. Yeah, that leather jacket, I would not be wearing that outside today. <laughs> oh, I have a van in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sure that would be hot. It's cute. It's yeah. That's probably why I haven't worn that leather skirt yet because <laughs> it's still hot. But it's going to get the way climate yeah. changes. I'm sure it's going to be some happen. Who knows? It may snow For in Florida. Real. Who knows the way climate changes nowadays. For but, real. Um, we I have know. another question. What piece of clothing can you um, you can't live without? For this person, they said um, dresses. They cannot live without dresses. So what about you? What piece mm. can you not live without? Body suits. I love bodysuits. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I think I have, like, another one here. Like, I have, like, every type of bodysuit. Like, this one, it has, like, a cutout. Oh, that's in it. cute. Or, like, this <laughs> one. Like, I cannot live without bodysuits. <laughs> they make all my outfits. Like, I feel like my outfits are so plain because I just, every time I'm, like, going for the bodysuit. Bodysuit <laughs> and this, great. Done. <laughs> yeah. I need to get more into bodysuits because I've noticed recently as I've been, because um, I left from New York and I've been in Florida now since because mm -hmm. studios closed but um i've been buying a bunch of bottoms and i have no tops and i'm trying to think like, okay let me get this cute little top this cute little top but you just answered my question i need to get yeah. bodysuits because body it's, it's a lot easier and versatile yeah body just that and then you, foundation yeah <laughs> you can switch it like from there like you know they're so good like from the basics like if you have your black white and nude bodysuit like <laughs> you can go so far with your outfits like especially now for fall because it's all about like layering pretty yeah. much or you can just tie something up or how you change your hair or you can put sunglasses on and you have a whole different a outfit whole look. yeah another viewer said i love buying designer but i never know when to splurge or save when is the best to invest in a designer piece that's a good question mm. i think like bags but like don't go for like the classic bags like like if you got like Everyone gets, like, the Louis Vuitton, like, never full bag. That was like, the first thing that, that came to my mind. <laughs> I was like, that. Like, don't get that bag. Because, like, one thing I've learned, like, with designer, like, if you get something that everybody has, you just made your outfit, like, go from here to here. Like, no one cares how yeah. much you paid. You might as well have bought, like, a $20 bag because you just look like everyone It's the same else. thing now. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't look, like, original and people don't value your, like, piece because it's, mm -hmm. like, everyone has it. So if you're going to go for a designer, get something that you're, like, truly in love with. I definitely think, like, bags, sunglasses, things you can, like, reuse over and over. Um, like, what's – um? I forgot which one it was. I think the Versace, remember when it was, like, all the chains? Yes. Like, when, yeah, like it was, like, all for a season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no one's wearing that now. So yeah, don't buy things like that, I think. So everlasting. Okay, and then – um, what is the best time you think is to invest in it? Or like, is there a certain season typically for designer things? Or just when you feel like they're ready, they should just go and do it? For designer, what you feel. I think it's like how you feel, you know? Yeah. It, I think it's like such a good moment for you, especially like if you work so hard um, to like get that piece, like, you know, make that special for you. Like it's, there's no time. It's all about you when buying it. I agree. I definitely agree. And another question was, what tips do you have for someone who is rebuilding their wardrobe? That's a good question, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Take everything out. I, I always clean my closet, like, a million times. <laughs> but, like, go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, so it's okay. I, I did the social – I watched the Social Dilemma um, documentary – so I like put a limit uh -huh. on my social media time and I guess it was like, hey, oh. we're done. <laughs> we're done oh. for the day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Can you go back to but, yeah. your thing? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like go through all your clothes. Yeah, literally everything. Like Go through it and be like, okay, do I wear this? Do I not wear this? And then you're like, Can I donate this? And then if you can't like donate it, I don't recommend like throwing away because you know, save the environment. But you yeah. can go to like places like H and M and like if you bring in your old clothes, like they'll give you like a discount on when you shop so do things like that and just like clean it out and then I like go through bins so like I have bins that say like winter so like if I'm not gonna wear it like next next mm -hmm. time or whatever then I go there and I give it away but 
just going through all of it because if not you just keep so much that you don't wear and you know i feel like that's so hard though to be like everything i feel like there's certain pieces i have attachment to i'm like oh i wore this um freshman year of college i can't like this is my one favorite top even though i'm never gonna wear it again because it looks like probably washed out or anything you're just like i'll just put it away in the drawer (laughs) and you just um what is that this is one lady that she's like an organizer on netflix but she's like, you think the item and then you get rid of it. That's what you got to do. Think it and just be like, okay, what's good? <laughs> I'm like, a, I like throw away a lot of stuff. Like I do not keep anything. I'm like, throw it away. I need to get into that. I definitely need to because it starts to hoard. And you're just like, all right, I don't, I'm never yeah. going to wear these. I can't even fit some of them. So it's like, why do you yeah. have it? <laughs> exactly. But I'm glad that was helpful. But yeah, just clean it out. Clean it out. All right, noted. Spring cleaning, <laughs> spring cleaning, and then right before spring, I guess winter cleaning, you know, and just put keep on any- cleaning every season. <laughs> yeah. And like when you put it like away, like if you put your winter, like us in Florida, like we're, it's never cold here. So yeah. if you put it away, like, and then you see what you actually do have, it like gives you like so much more perspective of what's in your closet, too. And another question When do you know it's time to get rid of certain clothes? Mm. If I haven't worn it in six months to a year, it needs to go. <laughs> but, That's a good one. That's a good tip. Yeah. I'm here thinking about my closet. I'm like, oh, there's a good <laughs> things I haven't worn in a while. Yeah. Sometimes you find things from like middle school. Like, yes. And it's know? like, why are you here? Why are you hiding yeah. in the back? Like, let's go. <laughs> and then, what are some fashion trends you hate? Oh, you gotta hate. Or maybe let's not say hate me that like you're not a fan of. Cause maybe someone else likes it, you know. But I feel like there's for a you few. <laughs> um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you got me there. Um, like maybe a certain okay. hair. I know you mentioned the um the Khloe Kardashian that hair. Um, oh like, yeah. There's that. Like, yeah, I don't like like that whole like clutter thing that was going on yeah. in the back of her bonnet. So all those pins. I'm like, why? Like you don't need to hold down that much hair. <laughs> um, stuff like that. Like I don't like clutter or. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're wearing like, I hate to say it, but if you're wearing like all like Gucci, like you know, or something oh, like yeah. with all the prints all like loud like, over the I don't, top. I don't like, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's or, like, like something. I'm trying to think some other trends that again I'm on fashion. Sorry, even know. Yeah, what's one of yours? What's um, something that you see that you're like, I just can't do it. Oh gosh, um, Lord, I cannot do the really baggy pants. Oh, like yeah. like sagging yeah like the sagging but like i noticed it's trending though it's like with a bunch of pockets in it and they're super big on like so say if your leg looks oh. like this like with the pants like your leg looks like this now yeah i feel like maybe i just can't rock it because i feel like i'm gonna look like a noodle just floating in clothes if i do that <laughs> but that's something i can't do i see other people rock it i'm like okay you go like yeah. go you i feel that it's not gonna yeah. work for me if for you're me. someone that's like not a stick I would say, like, if you're going to wear that trend, like, you know, something has to be tight. Either the top needs yes, to be tight exactly. or something. Because then now you're going to look bigger just than like what you are. Just, like, floating. <laughs> yeah. Bubble. You're just, <laughs> you're going to move. Someone said not Crocs. Oh, I did say Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Only the collab Crocs and the tie-dye ones are kind of cool. But, you know, those yeah, are for, like, I the house. The paperback Oh, paperback. <laughs> <laughs> the, those Hey, the paper bag, though, they hide my blow. So I like those. <laughs> like <for laughs> On a good blowing. day, what is that time? You're like, all right, we're good. Yeah, for real. And, like, that shapewear. Oh, my God, I love mm-hmm. shapewear, too. Like, um, I will invest your... in skim. Oh, yeah, I heard that's really good. Another, um, we just got another question. So what is your favorite trend? I think you kind of talked about that, actually. Um, or did you? I... Or you mentioned your three favorites. But I guess what's your number yeah. one? Yeah my number one i like just like saw so- like mon- the monochromatic right now is probably my favorite okay could like, you describe yeah. that a bit for us that's like the one color and if you do okay. like monochromatic with the leather i think that mm-hmm. actually is my favorite i wish i could have made the mood boards come up but next time <laughs> i'll put next them time. on my story you got it I'll- oh, that's yes, what i'll do that. i'll put them so, on yeah. my story yeah so you can see what i'm it. talking so just about send it to me after and yeah we'll get that going for the people because i'm sure a yeah. lot of people probably you know more people want to see that too so yeah and then i have like the words with it so it makes so much more sense what like i'm saying mm-hmm. someone said holes in jeans you don't like the holes in jeans oh i love her jeans 
<laughs> me too. I love those. I actually need to buy normal jeans. Uh, all my jeans yeah. have ripped in it. How to avoid shopping fast fashion. Ooh. Um, thrifting would be a good thing. Um, like finding vintage stores. That's a good way. Um, with your friends, like if you have friends that are like into fashion too, like switch what you're over. Like if you worn it too many yeah. times, so there's like a lot of us who like wear one outfit and then we're like, I'm not wearing this again. Like, give it to your friend and have them change it. That's a um, good idea. Especially when you post it on Instagram, you're like, all right, the whole world saw it now. Yeah. yeah. I can't wear it again until maybe yeah. like two years. At that point, it's... <laughs> for, for real. Actually, um, like, my boots look a little homeless. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Me too. The homeless look, I, I like that look. Thanks to Kanye, you know. <laughs> he, he brought that in. But Does anyone have do any like more that. questions or... Is there anything else you want to share with us about, you know, fashion, fall, you, anything going on? No, no, no. I think you got me all. <laughs> um, I don't have anything new going on. I'm in Orlando if anyone wants to do anything, you know, do some collab work, some portfolio work. We could always, I'm always down. Uh, Our audience is killing it with the questions. I they know, said, I love it. How many times acceptable to rewear an outfit? That's pretty hmm. As many as you want. I, don't <laughs> I mean, so. depends who you're with. I think who, who you're with. Like, if you're with, except, actually, there's only one outfit. Now I remember what look I hate. That just reminded me. Um, Say it. I feel like every sorority girl wears this outfit. The black le leggings with the Air Forces and the jean jacket. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that outfit is <It's> overworn. <laughs> that that's the only outfit I can think of that you can wear too many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the most important part of an outfit? Mm. I think your confidence. That's the thing. How you good. wear it. Your confidence. Totally like, if you feel it. good, like, no one can make you feel bad. Like, you know, I feel like so that's many good. times I wear stuff that's, like, different and someone, you know, they... They have a compliment that's like not in a compliment, you know? That looks so good. Like, I would never though. And it's like, oh. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> that <you>. feel good. <laughs> I'm like, you wish you could. <laughs> like, sorry. Um, yeah. But I think just um just go for it, you know, just like go for what you want to wear. Like, yeah. And then another question. Um, well, we have two actually. What's the most important part of an outfit? Oh, well, you said that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Is it bad to keep clothes and shoes in the closet for 15 years plus? Are you, if you're not wearing it, then yeah. I'm like, if it's been a year, get it out of it. Like, that would have yeah. been gone a long time. <laughs> yeah. But if you're wearing it over and over, then why not? It's vintage now. <laughs> That's true. That is true. And another question. Um, over the quarantine, I bought so many sneakers. How do you suggest styling them? Mm. Um, by color, um, for sure. Depends on, like, how the sneakers are. If they're, like, you know, more street style or it depends. If they're, like, more, like, um, the high ones, like, the high sneakers. Like, I think mm -hmm. going more, like, with street style. Uh, Pinterest is a good friend, I think, for sure. Like, look up, like, the sneaker and, like, um, just be like, hey, how do, I'll fit this shoe or something. And you yeah. can find things. Um, baggy. I know you hate that look, but... <laughs> Baggy is another way with sneakers. Um, shorts, biker shorts and sneakers. Yeah. And then we have, oh, God bless that you can fit your clothes from 15 years ago. <laughs> That's funny. For real. Another question. How often should you refresh your closet? I would say, like, at the end of the season. Or, like, if we're going, like, now we're going into, like, fall. Like, mm -hmm. kind of, like, like I was saying to switch out your closet. Um, kind of go through it again and be like, okay, maybe I, I won't wear this or, you know, stuff yeah. like, like at the beginning, end of a season. So like some yeah. end of summer and then like January, new year, new me, you know. That makes sense. So it's like, honestly, good to not hoard clothes because you always want to be up to date with the style. So it's like having a closet mm -hmm. full of clothes. It's like, all right, time to yeah. trash it. Might as well just buy what you actually like for that season. That's true. Yeah. And, and then, if you're like us, like moving so much right now, you don't want to have a lot of stuff. Like, you know, yeah. we're like going everywhere. If you just got out of college, you know, we're like going everywhere. Yeah. Right <laughs> just trying to find somewhere. Um, yeah. How would you style Yeezys? Ooh. I feel like they go with everything. <laughs> They're so like, 
biker shorts. You can even wear jeans with them. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, like, I see so many guys, like, wearing, like, jeans with their Yeezys. Like, um, I feel like you can even put a dress with Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> no. like you can make it work any way you want yeah. you can make it work like Yeezy's app became like a classic thing they're like the jean jacket of shoes <laughs> but, and then I just go. when you have a new styling shoot what's your process pre-shoot so before um I make like a mood board so a mood board is kind of just like getting inspiration of like what I like kind of like what I want like putting my vision kind of like on paper you yeah. know because I'm someone who I can't describe. Like, I'm like, okay, I see this, this, and this, and you're going to look at me so confused. But <laughs> if I show you what I'm thinking, like, like oh, you're what like, is that? <laughs> yeah. And you're just going to be like, that makes no sense, Grace. But so doing like a mood board and then um, finding like a model or, I mean, but if you're like at a company, normally they'll pick the model for you. Um, but if you're doing it for yourself, then I'd like pick a model and then kind of make sure like they fit like the aesthetic that I'm going for. And then um if you have a photographer communicating with them with styling too like if you're someone just like working on your portfolio yeah. the shop in return you know keep your tags <laughs> on keep your receipts just because be careful when you're getting over the face All yeah right, take it off <laughs> that's like i'm putting a plastic bag over their face <laughs> to put on the shirt for not getting it dirty taping the bottom of the shoe if we're returning the shoes like do what you gotta do for the shoe yeah. you gotta make it happen <laughs> mm -hmm. and then knowing where you want to go ahead of time because you don't want to waste like other people's time so just like having ideas looking for poses that you're like into so like I have like a folder of just like screenshots of like poses I'd probably want them to do um you really just want to make it like flow so yeah that's what I do hey um, our I think our last question, why are you so beautiful and smart? <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> I don't know. It runs in my jeans. <laughs> it's because we went to Florida State. That's why. Yes. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for this. Thank you. I, this is honestly the most engagement I've had on Instagram oh. Live. I think the people really want to kill it for the fall season. So oh. Thank I'm you. excited. This is my first live ever. So oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Glad to be the first. <laughs> yes. This so good. thank you. Thank you. Oh, FSU. Yep. Go, Go Nose. Nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, you guys, don't forget to check her out. Check out her Instagram. Make sure to follow it. See if the latest trends. She's going to always be posting some amazing, cute fashion clothes for the season, for this season, for next season. Just stay in tune and keep up to date with Grace. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say to the people before we head out? Thank you. And I'll make sure to put like the mood boards on my yes. story and send them to you. So please, you can see what please. I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. All righty. Thank you Thank again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And thank you guys again for tuning in with TK On Demand Instagram Live for our fall fashion segments. Um, we'll keep this coming more and more each and every week or every so often. So thank you again for watching. Bye.